you. I happen to be Connor's older sister, Skylar. <laughs> you must be Brianna, right? What? I'm sorry for being so sudden here. <laughs> I'm sure it's a bit of a shock to be texted by your fiance's older sister like this. <laughs> Hey, no worries about that. I was just a little suspicious about who this might be is all. Nice to meet you, Skylar. Thank you so much for finally getting in touch with me. And like you said, my name's Brianna. I've heard a lot about you from my little brother. You both seem to be really close to one another and you've been working on getting the wedding on the road. I've even heard from him that you both got a reservation at the one place you were both really hoping for, right? Luckily, the place we've been wanting to have our wedding at was available on the day we asked for place is just so beautiful, so we didn't even hesitate in asking them to write our names in the book. So that means you guys have still not paid for the wedding or anything yet, right? That's right. We have plans later this month to go there and pay for the reservation. That'll just be for the wedding hall, though, and not the other things involved in the wedding. That'll all be paid for later on down the road, so we're not sure quite yet how much the whole wedding will cost. So that means since you haven't gone and actually paid for anything yet, it's totally fine for you to break up with Connor. Uh, what? Um, what exactly did you mean by that? Uh, let me make this a bit more clear. <laughs> I'd like you to break up with Connor right now. You happen to love him enough that you want him to be happy with the right person, right? So you should be more than happy to leave him for me. <laughs> what? There's been a lot of talks about another woman that'll be much better for Connor. So I want him to start meeting with her right away, considering she's the better choice. Now, would you please take this time to stop talking with him for me and go find yourself someone else? <laughs> stop talking to him? Right now, Connor and I are engaged, okay? And pretty soon here, we're going to have our parents get together and meet for the first time. And we'll be paying for the wedding hall at the end of this month. So what are you talking about when you say there have been talks of Connor being with someone else? It seems that my dad found her for him. While he was talking with my mom, I listened in on their conversation from around the corner. Is that so? But your parents, they were so happy to hear about Connor and I getting engaged. You understand that they were only putting on a face and looking happy, right? <laughs> Deep down, all of us hate the idea of you being Connor's fiance and love for him to be with someone else. <laughs> what do you mean? What's so wrong with me being his fiance? I'm sure you already know this, but Connor graduated at the top of his class from university and is considered one of the best in his fields. Right now he's becoming a doctor and will soon be raking in more money than his family has ever seen before. As his older sister, he is someone that I'm very proud of and I'd love to see him married to someone that'll make him happy. And I plan to continue making him happy as his wife. Is it really that bad for me to be the one that marries him? Huh? Are you mentally okay? <laughs> You think our prodigy would be happy with some girl that was raised by only her mother in that poor household there? <laughs> Tell me, how would you be able to make him happy? <laughs> what? I told you, right? My brother happens to talk about you quite a lot, so we all know who you are. And that means we, of course, know how you were only raised with a mom and no dad. Your dad must have never really wanted you in his life, hey? I'm sure you never chose to be raised in that low-income household with just your mom around, right? <laughs> But the fact that you were born poor pretty much means that there's no use from you. So please understand your position for us. <laughs> Hold on a minute, please. Why are you calling me poor and from a low-income household? I understand that the only person who ever raised me was my mom, but I don't find it okay for you to call me things like that. What? But everyone who lives in a single-parent household is poor, right? <laughs> the single parent has to take care of their kids, so they can't work that much, right? There's no way they're making enough to give you or themselves a good life, right? <laughs> That's a terrible way to think about us and very biased. This is not a bias. This is all the truth I'm speaking right now. And I will not let a girl like you marry my very important brother. I'm sure you only want to be married to him for the money he'll be bringing in, right? You have that very wrong, Skylar. I would never marry Connor for his money and we've both discussed that between one another. Don't call me Skylar like that anymore. You are not going to become anything more than a stranger to me. So either call me Ms. Skylar or nothing at all. That's enough of this now, so hurry up and leave my brother already, please. We'll be having Connor marry someone that is on the same level as him. We will not have his image being ruined by some lowlife such as yourself, so it's over between you two. I'm sorry to have to bother you at such a busy time as this. Victor, do you mind giving me just a moment of your time so that we may talk? It's been a little while since we last talked, Miss Brianna. And what would you like to talk with me about today? 
Right now, the CEO happens to be at an early dinner, so perhaps there is something you'd like me to tell them. Um, no. This isn't something that I need to talk to my mom about. There actually happens to be something that I'd like to ask you, Victor. You have something to ask me? This is something private that I'd like to ask, so please don't worry about the formalities. Just call me Brianna for now. Now, the thing I'd like to ask about is in regards to Connor. Is it true that you've been trying to get him to go and see another woman? Have Connor met with another woman? I've not been doing anything of the such. Is there any reason I'd be doing something like that in the first place? Isn't my son currently engaged to you? Well, I had happened to hear something about you having another woman ready to become engaged with him. Um, of course, I knew that something of that nature could never be the case, but just to make sure of that, I wanted to come and confirm that with you. I would really like to know what strange source you heard that kind of story from. If you'd like to, you and I can meet in person to discuss all of this, and you can tell me where this is all coming from. I don't think this requires us meeting in person to discuss, so don't worry too much about this. I just wanted to know whether that was the truth or not. Thank you for giving me some of your time while you're busy at work. My pleasure. I'm happy that we were able to settle that little discrepancy. If you happen to need anything else from me in the future, please feel free to text me at any time. Whether it's my position of working with your mom or my position of becoming your father-in-law, I'll always be here to help. To tell you the truth, you're very much like a father to me, Victor, and I really do mean that. <laughs> the reason for all of this kindness towards you is because someday, you'll be both my daughter-in-law and my boss. I've even known about you since you entered preschool, way before you started to be with my son. So to me, I have this obligation to treat you as though you're my daughter, as that's what both myself and your mother want. Because of that, I'm very happy to see you marrying my son in the future. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. Connor and I were able to get ourselves a place to throw the wedding, and we'll be paying for it at the end of this month. It's a very gorgeous place where we'll be throwing the wedding, so I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. I've heard about that from Connor. I think you guys will have a very beautiful and memorable wedding. As both Connor's father and your father-like figure, I'll make sure to be here for you to help in any way possible with the wedding. Hey! Why have you gotten paid for the reservation? I told you already to break up with my brother, right? You really must be looking for trouble after ignoring my words like that. I never said that I'd be going through with something like that, and just to make sure what you were saying was a lie, I went and checked on all that myself. There was never any talks about your brother meeting with another woman. Huh? Did you really go and check with Connor himself about all that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but Connor's still not aware of what's going to happen because my dad has still not spoken to him yet. <laughs> But it's true that he has another, far more fitting woman for him, and my parents have already been talking about the wedding plans and everything. I'm sure they were just talking about our wedding coming up. Would you stop it with that, you fatherless loser? <laughs> my brother is not going to be marrying some single parent, moneyless lowlife like you. He'll be getting married to the daughter of a CEO. There's going to be a wedding for a lowlife like yourself. <laughs> what? The daughter of a CEO? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> The woman that my dad is ready for Connor to marry happens to be the daughter of a huge CEO who runs this massive company. <laughs> when I heard my mom and dad talking about that, I was shocked to hear the good news. <laughs> Saying that he was so proud that his son would be able to get married to a CEO's daughter. He looks so happy about it. Um, Skylar, perhaps there's something about all that that you're not aware of. I'm so sorry, Brianna. I no longer have the nerve to sit here listening to all your excuses now. So would you just shut up for me and break up with my brother pronto? <laughs> No, this isn't an excuse or anything like that. What I want to tell you is that you must be misunderstanding something very important right now. I'm misunderstanding something? The person that you suspect your dad has gotten to meet your brother is me. Actually, there's not going to be any meeting between him and I soon, considering that happened long ago. Huh? <laughs> Cut it out with that really crappy lie you're trying to tell me there. There's no way a moneyless girl from a fatherless low-income household is the daughter of a CEO. <laughs> You really want to marry Connor that bad? That you'd make up some lie like that to me. You really must need his money badly. <laughs> I'm not lying right now, okay? I'm telling you the truth. Would you please just listen to everything I have to tell you right now? I understand that you want to try everything to get with the man you can leech off of for the rest of your life, but I'm not going to bother you with you any longer. <laughs> 
no matter how hard you try, no matter how much you sacrifice, you will not be allowed to be part of my very rich and powerful family. <laughs> huh? My family has loads of money right now and both my parents work very high-end jobs. My dad is so high up there, in fact, that he's working alongside a very well-known CEO and has been entrusted with a lot of responsibility. When it comes to my mom, she's one of the best lawyers in the city and has traveled the world a lot for different cases. And then their two children, myself and Connor, both happen to have graduated from Harvard. I totally understand why someone in your shoes would want to be part of this family, but you're just too different from the rest of us, below us in fact, so it's not happening. <laughs> Are you really that worried about something like me having one or two parents around to raise me? I'm sure there are some things that happen differently in a family with only one parent, but for the most part, we all turn out the same. In my case, actually, I feel as though I was raised even better than some of those with two parents. I mean, you were raised by both your parents, but look at the way you turned out. You're far too old to be judging someone else's life like that when you don't have your own life together yet. Huh? <laughs> I'm not going to be talked back to you like that from a moneyless and single mother's bratty child. Just shut your mouth and leave my brother alone. You're never gonna get married to my cute little brother no matter how hard you try to. You are far too poor and have no manners like those of us who live with the elite. <laughs> now you take your little low life butt and disappear from my world. The only one who's going to disappear is you. What? Skylar, what the hell do you think you're doing right now to this poor young woman? Not only have you been making things up and talking horribly about your brother's future marriage, but you've now been belittling a woman like Brianna. Wait, wait a second, what's all this about? I told you never to call me by my name like that again. Do you think I want my name in the mouth of some lowlife? Do you even know who I am? What about you? Do you have any idea who the hell I am? Why the hell are you talking to your own father like that? Huh? Dad? Is that you, Dad? What? This is really you, Dad? You're my dad? Skylar, when you get back to the house tonight, we're going to your room. You're going to get one hell of an earful from me. I'll make sure you never talk to another person with a tongue like that ever again. Talking to someone as important to me as Brianna with that childish attitude of yours. I cannot let you act like that any longer. But what are you talking about? What's going on here? What the actual frick is all this? Why are you using Brianna's phone right now to talk to me, Dad? And why are you calling her important? You have to be joking with me, right? I call her important because she happens to be the daughter of my CEO. Is there something wrong with me doing that? Do you not think of her as being important to me? To our whole family? Y your CEO's daughter? Brianna happens to be the daughter of the woman I'm currently working under. And she had something very important she wanted to show me today, and that's why she's all the way out of the office with me right now. I was wondering what she had to show me, and before I could ask, she was showing me all these horribly rude texts you've been sending to her. And what makes all that worse is as she was showing me the previous text she would send her, you were currently sending her terrible messages as well. Because of you, my head hurts like hell now, and I have butterflies in my stomach because I'm so nervous about what might happen to me because of this. You're lying, right? Wait a second, what? Is Brianna really the daughter of that CEO you're working with? But she doesn't have a father. Her mother has been raising her by herself for these years. So how the hell does she come from a person who has all that power and money? What the hell does her having only been raised by one parent have to do with anything? Is it funny to you that her mother ended up a CEO? Or are you just trying to make up stupid excuses right now for acting like a total witch to her? Do you feel you have the right to talk about people in their positions like that? Uh, um, wait, Dad? When you get home, I'm getting out the belt. It's been a long time since I've gotten it out, but I guess you never grew out of your early teenage years, have you? I bet that leather will help you to understand just how horrible a person you've really been. Brianna, I'm so sorry. I just got a call from my dad talking about what's all gone down. It seems my sister has really said and done some awful things to you already. I'm so, so sorry for not noticing that there was something going on between you two. You don't have to apologize for any of that, Connor. I never came to you about any of it, so it's partially my fault as well. But my dad has been yelling at me about this all as well. He wanted to know what was wrong with me for not being around you to protect you when you needed it most. He asked me if I'm even considered a man anymore after what's happened to you. I've never seen him that mad with me before. 
I'm really sorry about that. I went right to your dad about all of this when I realized your sister was really confused about something. At the time, I didn't really think things would get any worse between Skylar and I, so I never thought to tell you about it. I assumed that your dad would know more about what was going on since Skylar told me that he had found you another woman for you. That's why I went and talked with him about everything to make sure that that wasn't all true. I think you have a good point, but next time, make sure to tell me things like that as well. You're my fiancé after all, so I could have put Skylar in her place for you as well. If it's something I can't handle, then we can bring it up with my mom and dad. That sounds good. I'm sorry for not coming to you this time. Just to be sure, I'll go talk with my sister so she knows that nobody is on her side in this. Hopefully, that'll get her off your case and we can all be happy again. And if after that she's still causing problems, let me know and I'll get my dad to kick her out of the house. Then she won't be able to do anything to us because she'll have nothing. Alright, I'll make sure to do that. Now good luck to you and whatever things end up happening between you and your sister. So you really are the daughter of a CEO? If that was the case, you should tell me that a lot sooner. Because of you hiding all that from me, my dad and Connor are both very angry with me. And now they're kicking me out of the house. Wow. So those two are a lot more angry with you than even I was thinking. Not only are they angry though, but they're making sure you're punished in a good way. They told me that I'm too old to be sitting in the house anymore anyway and to leave that place and go live on my own. They said things like I need to get a job and that I need to find myself a husband. How do they expect me to do any of that when I don't have a job? Wait, you still haven't found yourself a job yet? I was raised by only one parent, yet I made sure to get out of the house early and get myself a proper job. Sh shut the hell up! When you're as amazing as I am, it's hard to find a job that deserves you. If the workplace even has one idiot working in it, it's not a good enough place for me. I... I see. But I think it's kind of important for you to find some kind of work and then go live by yourself for a while. I've been on my own completely since I graduated from college and doing so has taught me a lot of things I never learned there. And if anything, it taught me to be thankful for all the things my mom did for me growing up. So I recommend you try it. I'm not going to take any recommendations from you. I don't want to live on my own, ever. I like living in my parents' house where every day there's delicious food being served to me without having to put in any effort. If I'm going to have to be kicked out of that house now, then I'm going to make you take care of me. I'm going to make you take responsibility for everything that's happened for me. What? So you want me to be the one that takes care of you from now on? You can at least find me a new home to live in. So either I take you in or I find you a new place to live? That's right. This is all your fault after all. And no cheap places if you chose a new home for me. No apartments under $2,500 a month. Honestly, I need to be living in a high-rise apartment. If you go that route, above the 15th floor. <laughs> hmm. Don't you dare start complaining about all of this. I hate the idea of this, but it seems like you're going to marry my brother. So, in other words, that makes me your sister-in-law. And that means you cannot talk back or complain to me about anything I ask for. The only thing you're allowed to do is listen to me and then do it. I'm glad to hear you're not whining about me marrying Connor anymore, but it seems you still have not stopped causing me trouble here. And even though you're the daughter of a CEO, that does not give you permission to act like you're better than me. I don't care that you will get a company someday. I'm your older sister-in-law, and that makes me considered even more like royalty than you. If you understand what I'm asking, then you get me that high-rise apartment right now. And of course, you're going to be paying the rent for me every month. <laughs> That's enough, Skylar. Even after all that yelling you received yesterday, you still have not been cured of that toxic tongue. What? It's over for you now, Skylar. I've been sitting right next to Brianna this whole time, watching every text you've been sending her. I'm a very sad little brother now. Today is the day I lose my older sister. But I suppose that's going to be fine in the long run, considering the older sister I knew never talked to other people, especially those important to me, like that. Uh, wait a second. Are, are you Connor? And what if I am? Are you going to start panicking, making up sorry reasons for why you act like such a witch? Um, no. You've really gone and done it this time, acting like a monster to Brianna again after being chewed out by both Dad and myself yesterday. Unfortunately for you, I never want to see your face ever again. And when it comes to my wedding coming up here soon, you're no longer invited to it. I don't want a freaking monster like you ruining all the fun for everyone else. Um, what? Why are you telling me I can't come to the wedding now? What you just saw was... 
It wasn't what you thought. I really am shocked right now after having been told I'm gonna get kicked out of the house. I'm really worried and saddened by that. I'm sorry, Skylar. Right now, Connor no longer wants to talk to you and I'm not sure you'll ever hear from him again. He's actually gone and left the house to go and get some takeout for us because he needs to cool down. Something about how he just told you to not start making excuses and sad reasons for being such a witch and all that. Yeah, you did not listen to him. What? Sucks that you're not invited to the wedding anymore, but that was bound to happen when you chose not to learn your lesson. We both agree now that we don't want you there, so that's pretty much it for you. I'm sorry, but we'll be telling the security detail that you'll now be on the blacklist. You freaking cunt! You went and started to show this conversation to my little brother like that without my permission? You've now gone and made both my dad and my brother hate me! This is all part of your plan, isn't it, you little cunt? I'm not sure how I was supposed to be aware that you'd text me at this exact point in time today. To be honest, I thought you'd never talk to me again after the punishments you got. I didn't even want to talk with you today, to be fair. <laughs> Shut the hell up, you cunt! My dad and Connor are a part of my family, yet you keep abusing your spot as the daughter of that CEO to make them bend to your will. You're a cunt! Cunt, 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 cunt! I'm not so sure about that. I'd really like you to stop believing in whatever reality you live inside your head. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? You're using your power to make everyone side with you on this. I know that for a fact, neither my dad or Connor have ever been that mad at me before. Even if I wasn't the daughter of a CEO, I'm sure those two would side with me on what's happened. The reason they're on my side happens to be because one, I am not insane. Two, I'm not a witch. And three, I'm not going off the deep end. Huh? You, you're calling me insane? I'm not insane, you are. Are you trying to tell me that I don't understand any of what's going on right now? Yes. You've been saying completely false things about your family to break up a marriage and have been asking your brother's fiance to leave him. You've also started calling me poor and a low life even though you don't know me. The list goes on and on, but I don't have the time to tell you it all right now. Just know that everything you've been doing makes you look like a mentally insane monster. Or in simple terms, a brainless jerk. Excuse me? Even if they are all your family, they happen to be too high class to side with something like you. If anything, we've all started to doubt that you're actually related to the family by blood. That's how amazing and high class your family is compared to you. You're freaking dead! You think you can just tear me apart like that because you're the CEO's daughter? I'm supposed to become your older sister-in-law soon and this is how you treat me? I'm above you in every way and you don't realize that still? Since you won't be at the wedding anymore, I think this is where I say goodbye to you forever. Understand that you'll become my sister-in-law here soon, but nobody will acknowledge that considering you're going to be disowned by your parents. What? So I'm being disowned now? What? So you're all just going to cut ties with me now? It's a little bit dangerous to continue being in contact with someone in your state, so we all agreed it's better that you stay away from all of us. Now that was it from me, so please never ever come around your family or I ever again. If you do still try and come around any of us, I'll make sure that my mom's security comes and removes you from our surroundings and calls the police on you. <coughs> on that day, Skylar was officially kicked out of the family and was kicked out with whatever she could carry on her person. Of course, I never got her a new place to live or anything like that, so she ended up going to multiple different friends' places. However, the relations with her friends didn't last long because she would complain about their cooking and how small their places were and, and that they weren't clean. Soon, she ran out of friends to go and stay with and had to turn around to borrowing money. But of course, she can't borrow much considering she doesn't have a job or anything, so she's left having to find a place to live, either under the bridge or on the bus stop bench. Both her dad, Victor, and her brother, Connor, know that she's living on the streets now, but they don't mind at all since she's no longer in the family. If anything, they're happy to see her this way, since it seems that she might start to looking for work here soon to try and stay alive. <laughs>